something came to my mind, so let me say it. And I can be wrong about this, but this came to my mind. You may say that you are looking for a good man or a good woman to marry. But chances are you are not really a good man or a good woman. So, and I can be wrong about this. I can be wrong about this. So if you aren't a good man or a good woman, why in the world would God hook you up or set you together with a good man or a good woman? Because if you are rude, if you are sassy, if you are selfish, if you are narcissistic, if you have all of these bad qualities, why in the world would God curse another person with you? Think about that. And I am not saying this to be mean, rude, or whatever. You need to think about this. You say that you are praying to God for a good man or a good woman, but you need to work on yourself first. If you are not humble, if you are not patient, if you don't have the fruit of the Spirit, how in the world can you treat your new husband or wife or whatever well? How can you treat a person well when you are still in sin? Think about that. When does God bless wickedness? Yes, God's grace, yes. Yes, God reigns on the just as well as the unjust. But if you are... <laughs> if you are a woman and you are the type that wants to be in control all the time, why in the world would God give you a good man? If you are a man and you like to beat on women, why in the world <laughs> would God give you a good woman? Think about that. You need to work on yourself first. Think about that. Let me stop here. God bless you.